beautiful morning here in Lake Placid for the 19th edition of the race. You're going to conquer a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike in the beautiful mountains, and a 26.2 mile run in Lake Placid, New York. The greatest place on earth. <laughs> The thing that I love about Iron Man is that it really strips you down to who you are as a person. As humans, I think we live for these, these highs, uh, these glorified moments of lightness, and we have to learn from these moments of darkness. And Iron Man really takes a toll on your body. It's exhausting, uh, it can be bloody, it's exhilarating, but it even can be boring at times. But the entire process of training for a 140 mile race, it's raw and it's real. And that's what makes the finish line so important and emotional is that uh, the time commitments, waking up at 6 a.m. on Saturday mornings to go for a seven hour bike ride and, and knowing that entire time you're gonna follow it up with a two hour run, uh, you're not trying to prove it to anyone what you're doing. You're, you're doing it for yourself. You're, you're doing it for the passion to, to reach your limit and then exceed that limit uh, over and over again. And that's what I love about Ironman. And that's why I can't wait to cross the finish line at the Ironman Lake Classic. High anxiety. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it, it's not gonna kill me. <laughs> it's a great day to have a great day. You are gonna have an amazing day. Ready to rock, Iron Man. Swim, bike, run. Ready to get it done. I just love being here. I, all of a sudden I, I get my heart beating fast, I'm all pumped up. I think you should be nervous, so expect nerves race morning, that's part of the battle. This course in Lake Placid is uh, its a really challenging course. It's got 7,000 feet of elevation on the bike. So it's definitely gonna be a, a harder, slower course. So I'm looking forward to that. I grew up in the hills. So it's gonna be a fun challenge. Psych for Lake Placid 2017. That's, that's what makes Lake Placid as special as Lake Placid is. Uh, dreams were, were, were set and made right here in this exact village. And uh, anyone who's an American holds this as a really sacred, special place. Lake Placid, I just fell in love with it. Um, just being out there, no matter how bad you're feeling, if you focus on Lake Placid and the beauty of it, you just can get through it because it's just an unbelievable place. This is one of the oldest Ironman courses on the circuit. Ironman's been here, has a long, rich history here, and this is absolutely one of the most beautiful Ironman courses from the swim, the bike, to the run. I woke up to the Wonder Woman theme song, so that's been kind of my, my theme. I named my bike Diana, and we're gonna conquer these hills. <laughs>
Go Very volunteer! Cool. We couldn't do it without you. Looking good, everybody. Most of the volunteers have already raced this race, so they provide us the wisdom on how to get to the end of it. They definitely have insight, especially the volunteers that come year after year after year. They know the program. And they're all pumped up. Yeah, sure. Love the volunteers. Thank you. It's just the way that people are like us. It's, it's how we are. What I've grown to realize is that Ironman has really become a family event for all of us. It's not just an individual sport. It's a, it's a family sport. It's a family event. I actually grew up not far from here, and I was a child that hiked Whiteface Mountain. So it meant a lot to me to come back as an adult and become an Ironman at the foot of Whiteface Mountain. Here on uh, some, some of the people I raced with last year. Go 292! MMR app is doing a great job curing cancer now. Come, came out with uh, 10 new cancer treatments in the last 10 years uh, that's curing over 30 cancers right now. So it's a pretty awesome organization. If you get involved with them in the uh, Ironman Lake Placid, do it. I had a uh, rare blood disorder when I was a kid. Um, I know what it's like to have an underfunded disease and I uh, decided to do something good with my senior year of college. We're what, 15 miles in, I'm taking a little walk, a little breather. It's, uh, it's, going, it's, it's going by so quick and it's kind of surreal being out on the course in Lake Placid. I mean, this is just one of the most famous courses ever and uh, to be part of this more than more than halfway through the run and almost finished with the whole thing you know it's only a few minutes before my mind uh, flips and I'm ready to get underneath that finish line and on the red carpet it is temporary probably outside of Kona. Every year it's like a magical Cinderella story. This village appears, thousands of people come here, and they're heroes for a day. And the collective energy and spirit and, and passion of everybody here gets them through it. At midnight, it's like the slipper comes off and, and you know, you're back to who you were before, but for one day, they can do whatever they want. And they're, they really are heroes and I think it's amazing. Yeah.